So why should landlords allow people to run a group home with their properties? Why should they? I mean, for one, it is a longstanding renter. What's, what is the objective when you are renting a home? The objective is to rent your home for as long, as many months as you can, right? So if you're letting someone set up a business in your home, that person ain't going to want to um, have that business shut down after a year, I'm hoping. If you want to do a group home, you're wanna you're going to want to be there for a long term. So that landlord, the benefit would be that that landlord gets to rent their home for a long time. I told y'all two of my properties I still lease. I still lease because your license does not transfer. Once you put it on that home, it's up to you on whether you shut it down and move it or whatever. I just choose not to. Because the rent is reasonable, you know, the house is already uh, custom, to, you know, customized to me. So what's the point? And the house is stay full. So my thing is that landlord knows. And I've even asked them, do you want to sell? Because the first home I leased, she sold it to me after a year. These people are like, hey, no, I'm getting money off of you. And I'm getting higher than the market rent. Why am I going to sell to you? And I don't, I don't blame them. And my thing is, I'm not, I'm not like greedy. I know everybody around me has to make money in some shape, form, or fashion. I'm okay with that. As long as that house stays full and I'm making money, then I'm going to pay them they rent. So that is, that is a, a benefit for a landlord. You might have a long-term long-term renter and you're getting that rent it's kind of like when the stuff happened with the housing where people weren't paying rent they got rent for me every month so other landlords weren't getting rent they got rent from me and it was higher than the market rate 